What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of Desk Talks. I'm your host, Patrick Bolaños. So we get a ton of questions about how profitable is a food truck. Can I make $100,000 a year with a food truck? Let's break it down. Just like anything that I love to reverse engineer any goal that I set out to do, okay? So you wanna make $100,000 a year, okay? You can either be one or two ways. You can either pay yourself a salary from the truck or you can just take distributions from the profits. So let's assume that the first part is you want to take profits, profitability. So on average, a food truck can probably generate net profit after all expenses are paid, five to 10%, but that includes wages. So let me, let's follow me on this because you can either be passive, like run it, but not be there every single day and not take a salary, or you can run it every day, take a salary, W-2 or whatever, if you're an LLC or an S-Corp, there's ways to do it, um, or distributions every month, or uh, every month or every two weeks, etc., based on the, on, on the results of your uh, investment. So you wanna make $100,000. If $100,000, if 5% of net profit, you divide that by 5%, and you know that you need to do $2 million, in sales per year if your net profit is 5%, okay? So if you divide that by 52 weeks in the year, you have to average $38,000 a year, a, a, a week in sales to generate 5% of net profit. So we're gonna make it, we're not gonna be as conservative. Let's try 10%, 100,000, divided by 10% equals 1 million. 1 million in sales divided by 52 weeks is 19,000 per week in sales. Per week. Okay, can a food truck generate 19,000 per week? Maybe. Um, it's a little far stretched in my opinion because if you divide that by seven days a week, assuming that you're open seven days a week, it means you have to generate $2,750 almost per day in sales. Let's assume that your per person average is $15. So you're looking at 183, 183 sales per day at $15 to generate $2,700, okay? So it appears that the passive income on net profit and wanting to live off of this is probably not a good idea because your sales have to be that high. Now, if you had several trucks doing this amount, maybe two trucks generating 100,000 in net profit a year, then your weekly sales are half that. It's what, nine, eight and a half a week? Now that's more doable. So, but let's assume you are an owner and you pay yourself a salary, okay? The P&L of a food truck compares to a restaurant in that you have your top level sales, then you have your food costs or beverage costs, cost of goods sold, liquor, beer, and wine cost, if you are allowed to sell beer, wine, etc. Then you have your labor costs. Okay? The food cost plus the labor cost equals your prime cost. You don't want, and you don't want that to be greater than 60%. If your costs of goods and your labor costs are greater than 60%, you're not being efficient enough. There are some ways to be more efficient and you can find some savings somewhere in that P and L, okay? But we're gonna assume for a food truck, it's 25 and 25. Meaning you have 25% food cost and 25% total labor cost. That includes salaries, okay? 
So, let's say you get a truck that can do, we'll go on the low end, 1,200 a day, okay? And you're open seven days a week. 1,200 a day average times seven equals 1,200 a day. 1,200 times seven equals 8,400 a week. 8,400 a week in sales. Meaning, times 0 0.25, 8,400 times 0 0.25 equals 2,100 for food. And it's the same 2,100 for labor. Per week, okay? 2,100 divided by seven equals $300 a day. $300 a day that you can pay either an employee or you can pay yourself. Again, this assumes that you're running your truck or your business at a 25% food cost and a 25% labor cost. So let's see if we can make 100,000. Let's say you split that with somebody else and you're the $300 a day, you split it with somebody else and you're getting paid 150 a day times seven equals 1,050 per week. That's $54,000. We're gonna go to the next page. We're talking about $54,000 in let's call it w2 income okay then you come and you're 8200 a week times 52 is 426,000 in annual revenue okay let's assume your net profit at the end of the year is 10% Okay, you already paid yourself $54,000 from your sales, right? You paid somebody else $54,000 to help. And, and you additionally can generate $42,640 in net profit at 10%. That gives you a total of 54 plus 42 equals 96,000. There you have it. You have to average 8,200 a week, working seven days a week. If you don't work seven days a week, just divide it by the number of days you want to be open. Those are the, that's the amount of sales you need to have at those percentages. If your costs are higher, you need to sell more to make more. And there you go. Can a food truck generate $100,000 in income for the owner? Absolutely it can. There's obviously a thousand different ways to skin a cat. There's a thousand ways to run this scenario, but understand your numbers, understand your P&L, understand your food costs, understand your labor costs, understand net profit, look at your overhead, be efficient, keep it as low as possible, and you too can start generating a ton of income from your food truck. Awesome, if you got value from this video, please share it with somebody. If you know anybody that's in the food truck industry that needs the help, Go ahead and share this. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we hope this helps. Thank you.